last but oh so not least in this uh, EMU quick start, we want to go ahead and just talk about the different settings that are available in EMU. Okay, the first tier is MIDI control. Um, let's talk about MIDI and EMU for a second. So EMU works as a VST plugin for those using DAWs, um, and it also works with MIDI controllers. So if you pop it into MIDI learn mode for MIDI controllers, things turn, uh, they either display, you know, a MIDI control or they turn yellow and anything that turns a color you can map. So if I want to map my dimmer faders, I can select same and then I believe what is the sequence here? I believe I can set MIDI to any of these things. Totally blanking right now. Let me check my settings here. <laughs> got to, oh, I got to turn on my MIDI controller. That would help. So there, I clicked it and I moved the MIDI fader so I could get the dimmer for all of these on that MIDI fader. Anything here is mappable. You just press and move. Okay, there we go. I clicked on it. Click on it. And then it's a little touchy, but it works. And then assign MIDI notes of all sorts. So that's MIDI. Uh, we also have USB and uh, connected network, ArtNet. So the way that that works for output is we'll go to the settings here. We can turn on ArtNet. It'll show your different, um, it's just showing here your different network interfaces. So I have the Microsoft Loopback adapter installed um, to go to my visualizer. You can set your output universes here. Audio, I went over this in the last one, but you can set your overall level. You set uh, your band frequency wise for sub, low, mid, high, which is awesome um, from and to so that you can really customize those signals you're sending. Next MIDI, you can select your MIDI controller. Um, it looks like you can only do one for now. You can set the channel that it's coming in at and rescan to scan for MIDI. You can do MIDI clock and uh, the, a clock beat signal like from Ableton or a tap tempo just on a MIDI uh, control channel as well. License wise, you will get a license when you uh, sign up, you request one. And then as of right now, it's a free subscription. Uh, every month you have to be on the internet once at least and it will renew the subscription uh, once the pricing comes out, as mentioned, we can get you the box over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear if you're here in the U.S., or um, you can deactivate your computer, change your license info. Updates are really cool because they show you your current version. You can hit check for updates, and you'll see the most current version. If you hit use and you're not on that version, it's going to download it. It updates it. You restart the program, and you're in the new version. And then it gives you some info on the About page. Uh, so overall, pretty easy, pretty simple settings. Um, I know, for example, on the output page, you can also, on this device page, it's going to show any USB devices. So I don't, oh goodness, my 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 uh, DMX box is within reach, but not a USB cable. So if I had that plugged in, it would show up here. I could set the output universe and enable it, and then be using my DMX box. Other than that, uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I know I've triggered a bunch of things and made my show kind of mad, but um, that is the basics, really, of Emu. If you have more questions, uh, confusions, whatever, check it out over at uh, Emu on Entex website. Check out our uh, buyback program if you do want to get started today before the Emu box comes out. And then uh, once the Emu boxes are available, we'll have them over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, and you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys around the web. Thanks.